Elon Musk is a visionary. Tesla, SpaceX, Starship. That's what we're talking about today. And Elon has stated when he thinks people will be living on the red planet. So just a little bit ago, Elon Musk stated on Twitter that Mars may be a fixer-upper planet, but it has great potential. One of the Twitter users said, what's the time frame for creating a self-sustaining civilization? 20 years? Self-sustaining meaning not relying on Earth for supplies. Elon replied, 20 to 30 years from first human landing if launch rate growth is exponential. Assumes transferring 100,000 each rendezvous and 1 million total people needed. Tesla is to protect life on Earth, SpaceX to extend life beyond. Now, SpaceX has been building starships at Starbase for a few years now, and they're ramping up production to get this done. And some of the people that live down there, they're not exactly happy with what happened just recently at Starbase because the environmental impact study came through as a positive. Elon and SpaceX are allowed to continue building and testing SpaceX Starships at Starbase due to 75 other conditions. And these include limits on road closures and the creation of wildlife corridors, as well as other less conventional requirements, such as preparing a historical context report. And this is all before they get the launch license from the FAA. And SpaceX will have to adhere to these mitigation measures 100% or the FAA will not fully enforce a launch license for SpaceX's Starship. So when SpaceX launches from Starbase, Texas, it will be the first orbital flight test of this super heavy rocket. Now, some of the people in Brownsville and the surrounding area, Boca Chica, they're not very happy with SpaceX at this time because, well, Elon has proposed that Brownsville will be the gateway to Mars. And in a way, it still is because they're building starships there. They're producing starships there. Their research and development facility is in Brownsville. This is why SpaceX built it in Brownsville, because they could not do it at the Cape, because there's too much traffic at the Cape for things to get done, though in the speed that SpaceX needs to get it done. So down in Brownsville, they're kind of left alone. They're in the middle of nowhere. They're about 30 miles away from everything. And there's nobody there to really tell them what to do until there's some sort of launch or some sort of activity on the road so they can possibly uh, cancel Highway 4 traffic for the day. Those things need to happen in order for SpaceX to build these Starship rockets. Some of the locals, they're not very happy about this. So it's like they build all of these beautiful rockets there, but eventually... Elon said just recently that SpaceX may take all of their production to the Cape, to Cape Canaveral, and leave all the R&D in Brownsville. So not many launches happening, maybe some flight tests of new hardware, but possibly not people because flight ready rockets they need a place to launch from in Brownsville, Texas. Doesn't seem like it's the place that Elon wants. Elon said, I think it's well suited to be our advanced R and D location. So it's like where we will try out new designs and new versions of the rocket. I think Kennedy will be our sort of main operational launch site. So this is kind of a fearful time for Brownsville because they wanted a huge tourist influx from Starbase. Brownsville is the closest city to Starbase. It's about 200,000 people, and they could really benefit from a tourist activity center like Starbase. So right now there are tourists that come in from all over the world. I've met people from France. I've met people from Australia. I've met people from Florida. I've met people from Canada. I've met people from Mexico. All over the place come to Starbase to check out Starship. But if you have a super heavy rocket launch in Brownsville, this could possibly bring in 50 to 100,000 people like the SLS launch that's going to be happening at the Cape 
in a few weeks from now, in about a month from now, the SLS rocket, the super heavy NASA rocket, will be launching around the moon and back. And there's supposed to be an influx of about 100,000 people at that area in the general Orlando area. Brownsville would love that traffic. Right now, SpaceX, they have thousands of people coming in and out of the area to do work, to check out Starbase, to just go down there and hang out at the beach at the end of Highway 4 at Boca Chica Beach. But 100,000 people, that brings in millions of dollars for the area, and Brownsville could use that money. It's traditionally a low-income area of Texas, and they want to build it up. So there's a um, there's a representative of Brownsville, Jessica Tetro, Brownsville City Commissioner, said, I didn't know any of those plans beforehand. And that's what she's talking about. She didn't know any of these plans SpaceX's Starbase was supposed to just be an R&D facility and not be the main flight facility. And she said, um, I'm glad that somebody asked that question because we get a lot of insight. What startled us was when we heard the timeline and how they would have to start moving things to Florida. We just knew that we had to work that much harder and that much faster to improve our case that Starship belongs here in South Texas. So they want Starship there. And there's a lot of people in that area that love the ability to work and to play and to live and to make a really good living with Starbase around. People at gas stations, people at retail locations, people at restaurants, truck drivers, etc. The working class of America is down in Brownsville because SpaceX brings in thousands of jobs. And it's not just engineering jobs or technical jobs. It's people that pave roads, you know, people that dig holes, you know, things like that. That's hard manual labor, but it's also very valuable. And these people can make money because of SpaceX being down there. And if they had flight operations, you know, throughout the year there where there's hundreds of thousands of people coming in three or four times a year, that would be such a huge deal for the Brownsville area. But since Elon decided to make the choice to move flight operations to the Cape as opposed to Brownsville. And this could be due to numerous factors, but they do have the infrastructure at the Cape compared to Brownsville for human space flight. And there's everything there. You know, NASA is historic and they have flight preparations. They have places to prepare people, places to prepare the rockets, places to move the rockets, roads to move the rockets around to the flight facility so everything's kind of there already and they can't really build out much bigger than where they already are in brownsville i should say they can't really move out any further boop they can't really expand any further at starbase without disrupting the environment and that could possibly take years of mitigation and litigation between Texas and SpaceX. So moving everything to the Cape makes a lot of sense, but the Brownsville locals aren't really happy about it.